Dear friend, it's been a while since we last spoke. It's safe to say that this year has brought quite a few unexpected changes, but I'm trying to practice gratitude and positivity every day. I went back to Texas in March when the pandemic first hit, and now I've been here for nearly five months, the longest amount of time I've stayed with my family since probably early high school. I thought I'd only be here for a few weeks and then go back to New York, but one week stretched into one month and then two, and now I've been here long enough to see the blue bonnets bloom, to see my neighbors shoot off fireworks in their driveways, and to see the grocery stores start to put up their back to school sales. Who knows what the fall will look like this year, but I've been teaching myself to slowly embrace the beautiful parts of this new normal. The new normal as I finished out my final year of college meant Zoom classes, some more entertaining than others. This color scheme, this so these these shoes for Nike came out in the last year. They are Nike's tribute to, and I'll write it in the chat, uh, <laughs> Bauhaus. I graduated online, moved out of my apartment, and started two new jobs. One of them is at a bakery. Can you believe I'm getting paid to bake things? It's so fun, and for the first time since my family moved here years ago, I feel like I'm finally getting to know my city's community. So I haven't been practicing flute as much as I should. I've been finding so much inspiration through music. I've also come to the decision to take a gap year so I can explore what life has to offer at my own pace. I'm full to the brim with creative ideas and I can't wait to execute them over the next year. I wish I could make music with people in person again, but I probably wouldn't have chosen to do any of this under ordinary circumstances, whatever that means anymore. So I guess I have that to be thankful for. It's hard to think about the good when every day the news and my social media leave me angry, confused, and tired, but it's there. I just have to notice it. What are we left with when concerts and outings and meetings and shopping and traveling are all out of the picture? At least we still have our humanity and our thoughts and nature. I'm getting a lot of inspiration from nature. It's easy to forget, even when it seems like the human world is in chaos, that life still goes on. The animals seem pretty undisturbed. Maybe we should all think more like them. Hi, Moo. I'm trying to practice gratitude and respect for the earth, and I feel fortunate that, for the first time, I get to experience the full scope of seasons in Texas. From the fleeting beauty of spring, with its rainbow of wildflowers, sunsets, and, well, rainbows, to the nostalgic, albeit horrendously hot, moments of summer. Barbecues, long days, and stretches of lazy time that long to be wasted. Lockdown wasn't anyone's first choice, but it seems like before all of this, Life was just getting busier and busier, and I think we all needed the time to finally slow down and reflect. I was finally able to invest time into working on balance and strength through yoga, self-reflection, making videos, and spending time with family. (laughs) Now I'm learning clarinet. I've been journaling a lot, thinking a lot, and learning to find playfulness in everyday life. I'm so excited because I'm going to try to make pancake cereal. I don't even have TikTok, but I mean, I really need to try this. I've been so intrigued. The batter is too runny, so they all stuck together. <laughs> After much trial and error, we are making progress. Yeah, I think the batter is just too watery to pipe the way they do in the videos, but we persevere. The human spirit is flexible. Not everything has to be serious all the time, even though I am becoming a grown-up while still being a little kid inside. I have also befriended the neighborhood cats.
Hello. Hi. Hello. Meow. <laughs> meow. Nice to meet you. Hi. These days I'm mostly working, but in my free time, Marco and I have That's been watching huge. The Office together using Netflix Party. You don't like the hats? They're terrible. I hate myself. My family and I were able to go strawberry picking right at the end of strawberry season. <laughs> Good job. And I still bake with my sister from time to time too. We've made lots of cakes and banana pudding. And a lot of things that are not good for the body, but very good Bloop. for the soul. Bloop. I like to go on walks when the weather's not too hot. Sometimes I make some friends. Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. There's a toad. Okay. Hello, toad. Throughout all of this, I've noticed the prevailing generosity of others and the resilience of the human spirit. And every day I am beyond thankful to have time with my family, that we have food in abundance and are still healthy. Life is far from perfect, but it's perfectly fine. won't last forever, so we might as well enjoy the good parts. Oh! Whoa. Every bottle is so individually Whoa. wrapped. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, it looks good. I hope we can all hang out again soon, but for now, let's keep in touch this way. Your friend, May.